Welcome to Tomtrocity here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 21. Now, I have been watching Glock 9, and he mentioned that Alpha 22 is coming sometime in April, so I may not have long for Alpha 21. But we're going to try Alpha 21. This this is going to be interesting. So we're going to go new, new game. We'll go new random world. There we go. We'll call it Tom Trosity. Uh, Generate world name. Okay. World seed. Uh, there. That's where we're going. World size. Oh, this is like a max size world. Let's go big. Why not? Advanced generation? What is this? Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with any of this. See, there's a lot of new stuff I'm not familiar with. Alright, so... Um, let's stick to region. Uh, server visibility. Not listed. No one's playing it but me. So. Yeah, we don't know the word of multiplayer. Uh, nomad, warrior, survivalist, insane. We'll stick with nomad because that's what I had it set to. Uh, persistent profiles on. XP multiplayer, we'll leave it normal. I know we go 120, but we're going to keep it at 60 just for sake of recording 18 hours sounds good we'll keep it seven days per regular blood moon range will keep it at normal blood moon morning in the morning yeah let's go now yeah, we keep it morning blood moon count i'm gonna bring it to 32 just to test it uh walk sprint sprint Sprint, peril sets off. I'm going to keep that off because I just want to make sure I understand how this game runs. I say airdrops every seven days. That way if we make it, hey, I get an airdrop. Advance. Uh, leave that all alone. We'll make the loot respawn. Yeah, 30 days sounds right. Uh, XP only. Drop on death. Oh, we can do delete all. Let's just do backpack only. Uh, enemy spawning on creative mode off. And that's it. I think that's a good start. Now, I have no idea what my game looks like visually, so we'll find out as we go. But this is my run for Alpha 21. There you go. My game name and the world generation C just for you guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a visual upgrade. Holy shit. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed a duke in a bad way and you could use some help. It closes a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we might take in a new citizen. The right White River Settlement. It's real and it's safe. There's another settlement job we gotta take. Be Peace be with you, friend. Noah. So essentially the same message from 16. So, okay, cool. Let's get through the basic guides. Oh, God, hold on. No, nope, hold on. I see that motion blur was still put on. All right. Now that motion blur is off. Why is that on by default drives me nuts? Okay, let's craft bedroll. Oh, it's so weird seeing these icons. But it is helpful. I, I get it. It's just weird. All right, stone. There's a stone. I wonder if those could be turned off in some manner. Ah, there's no stone. There's a lot of bird nests here too, which is convenient. Okay, cool. And the settlement is... Good job, Survivor. You have proved you to be capable of much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. There you'll find a trade where you could buy and sell goods. 
and trade stories of one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. I also got skill points. Now, the skill point tree is very different than it was in Alpha 16. So, I have to learn this. Okay, so we have Perception, which gives us these combat perks. We have General Perception perks and Scavenger perks. Then we got Strength perks, Health perks, Agility, Intellect, Perk books, and Crafting skills. Okay, so I think we'll go into Perception. Lock picking. Okay, so this is what I decided. I went with Perception... I then went into Pumble Pete, Master Chef, and then I did lock picking because lock picking helps unlock workstations. Reading Forge Ahead will unlock various tiers of workstations and their their tools boost loot odds with advanced engineering and or lock picking. So I went with lock picking instead. So those are the points I put into let's go explore. I also need to find more stone as we go. So let's just keep that on hand and gather, gather more feathers too and eggs will be helpful next thing is we gotta find a uh, a town to go to like I said this is random gen so I have no idea where things are this is going to be interesting all right now we got some stone and some arrows Let's see where the hell we are. Okay, so it looks like in the distance. That might be the desert. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I need to reload. Because that's important. Now we're looking on stuff. Oh, I need wood. Let's get some wood. We also have to pay attention to our health and... Uh, not our health, but our food and thirst, because... That is tied to how much we do. So the more we do, the more, you know, resource gathering I get, the more I'm going to go for my food and water. I know there's perks or skill tree point perks to manage that a little bit better, but something you got to keep in mind as we go. I will admit, visually, this looks a lot better. Like, they definitely made some optimization improvements to the colors, to the visuals. It's less pop-in. Like, even the... The trader buildings look interesting, too. Oh, yeah. Let me close these doors. And we'll loot the trader here soon enough, too. Alright. What do you got, Joel? Joel of Pal of mine. What do you got for your inventory? Oh, you don't take rotten meat? Damn. Can I sell you this? No. Alright. What do you have? Alright, so you got a sweatshirt, cowboy boots, blah, blah, blah. There is no more secret stash, by the way. So that's another change I gotta get used to. It's got a wrench. We do need to get water filters because there's no glass jars in this game anymore either. So I need to find... I need to get water filter and I need to build dew collector in order to get water. He's got a cookie pot and a cooking grill, too. He's got some ammo. He's got some food. Some resources. I gotta get my hands on short iron pipes so I can make uh, iron uh, weapons. Okay. Interesting. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. What do you got for jobs? Since I've never done a job before. And they're all super far away except for this fetch one. We'll come back for jobs. I need to get used to playing this. And we also gotta raid what he has. Actually, hold on. Close that. There's a special... Aha! There we go. I just found out there's a special room down here, so that's why I did that. Explosive magazine, cool. Yes, I do my research a little bit, alright? It's not like I'm completely blind going into this. But I am for the most part. Uh, 
there. If you don't have those. I'll take the paper. Can I take the chair? No. Food. What do you got for food? I'll take the pears. Ooh, wait. Is that the recipe? Interesting. Cooking tends to use in the campfire John Wayne. No, I just got the cooking grill. Perfect. Now if we get cooking pot, that'll be helpful too. Gotta read those magazines. Ugh, cornmeal. I'll take it anyways. I can make cornbread. Ooh, we got what's it called? Charred meat, which is good. That's still food, but it's gonna drop our thirst down. What we got in here? Toilet! What's in the toilet? paper you never know I think that's everything yeah and then can't go out that way so we have to unlock it to go out this way got it what's in your truck Joel I'm gonna rob you eh, you got some stuff I'll take that Ooh, gas can There's some gas that's gonna be pouring down the road Destroyed workbench. Cloth and glue. That's handy. Don't need those. Broken down chemistry set. Why does the broken down chemistry set had so much of the cornbread? Okay. Destroyed forge. Hey, forge head book. That's useful. And we unlocked the dew collector. Okay, so do there we go so obviously i need to get the water filter i gotta get a shit ton of plastic short iron pipes and duct tape well duct tape's not hard to make since i have glue and i do have cloth fragment question is why can't i make it oh because i need 10 cloth okay so yeah so the stuff we need to get for sure which is not a big deal what else does Joel have? More gas? Hey, more gas. Okay, so we can't take his food. And I know we can't harvest it because he's just going to say, eh, eh, on me. He's got a lot of stuff to look through. Alright, so let's close that for now. That's a rock I can't take. Oh, hey, it's a zombie. Finally, get to fight a zombie. Oh, they don't stay down as long. And there's no more loot unless they drop loot bags. Another thing I got used to. What's that noise? I guess it's still coming from him. Okay, grabbing more. Arrows, future feathers. Okay. Wow. It's already hour 13 going to hour 14. We definitely need to find a uh, setup here soon. That's a house there. But no, I was looking for a house that was not quite built yet. Almost like start fresh in a weird way. We're on Tran Road. And now we're heading to Cortland Street. I do not want to use a power swing attack. That looks like an oil refinery building. Big town. I'll give it that. They also give you... So the Brett Residence, that just tells you the difficulty of each place now. So that's another neat feature that was not in the earlier alphas, is the difficulty being there. We can make that our home right there. It's close. It's close enough. Sure, we'll take a trash pile. I like it. It's got enough room and everything. Let's just get rid of this guy. You don't let me 
let you hit you on the head anymore. Oh, there you go. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, this would be good residence right here. Just gotta make some modifications. But this could work. Okay, before we keep going... Where is it? Uh, there's... Craft one of those. Alright, Tom. Thanks for the content. Welcome, everyone. Tom Trocity here. And tonight... We're going to be playing a new game. I got my analog pocket set up with the dock. We're going to be playing Gunstar Superheroes. I hope you enjoyed the pre-stream tonight. Thanks to me. Uh, as I said, if you go to youtube.com slash Tom Trusty, you get to see uh, my seven days, to die, 7 days to Die content. That's going on right now. Although I am taking a break from it today, as we are playing a new game. So, for YouTube at least. But anyways, welcome to the stream everyone. Glad you guys can make it. And hey, I'm actually starting on time for once. Normally I'm like a little bit past 5 o'clock, but I actually started about 5.01. So, not bad for a first time uh, on a Saturday schedule stream. So, yeah. Uh, before we start, I wanted to play with a Sega Genesis controller, aka 8 bit Do's controller, but it, uh, does not want to work with me. Well, one button doesn't want to work with me. It's the R button, which is required for supercharge. So, that has failed to work. Let's get rid of my pin, pin comment for now. Unpin uh, this message for now. Thank you for the pin. So yeah, I am now going to be playing with a Switch controller instead. Yay. Uh, but yeah, no, I recently bought the game a couple days ago. Here's the game card copy in its glorious box, even though this is mirror mode. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to get this game for a long time, actually. I played, uh, played a friend's copy of this back when it released and never got to own the, car the copy. I don't know why. I've been wanting to get one. I just never got a chance to, to purchase a copy. So, we'll be playing that today. And don't worry. I am also playing this on YouTube. I know this is going to sound weird, but there's two characters in this game I could play. On YouTube, we'll be playing the story mode for Red. But tonight, we're going to be playing Blue Story. Apparently, there's a difference, there is a difference in the storytelling between the two characters. As long as you play Hard Mode, apparently. So, we'll see how far you can make it in Hard Mode. Because... I've really, I other than today playing it for YouTube, I've really not played this game that long to you know really understand the mechanics and whatnot. But hopefully everything is coming through clear on my end, and it's not too loud. If it is too loud, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to take a look myself. I did have some frame drops earlier. I apologize, but that's the nature of the beast with the um. Okay, I don't sound that loud. But that's the nature of the beast of me trying to do something new, which is pre-streaming some content for you guys before I start my stream. So, anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get to the actual game at hand. And yes, I already have analog loaded up, which is good. I'm going to set my vertical recording first. Don't want to forget that. And let's just get into it. I also have to change my monitor. Give me one second. There we go. Elgato jump scare. But it should correct itself. There we go. All right. Let's get into it. This will be a fun, fun game. Okay, hold on. Now to make sure things are actually coming through. Hmm. Hang on. Because I hear music, but can you guys hear it is the question. Nope. 
Nope, that's what I thought. Okay, you guys can't hear the game. Give me a second. I gotta figure this out now. Huh. That's what I thought. You know, that's, that was the whole point of the pre-streaming, was have this figured out by now, but I guess I didn't have it figured out. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Properties. No. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Still don't hear anything. Okay. Nope. Still don't hear anything. Oh, there we go. going Whatever. there we go all right got it let's see it's just a volume a little bit yeah that probably sound good right there All right, we're back on cue. All right then, here we go. Uh, let's let's replay the story since I didn't give us didn't really give a chance. Don't worry, tell screen will go away real quick. Don't worry, give it a second. Here we go. Licensed by Nintendo, by the way. Essentially, this would be the Super Nintendo version of Gunstar Heroes if you think about it. Because GBA is always considered like a Super Nintendo. So, here's the story. Let's recap. We have to stop him. Your journey ends here. Great Value M. Bison. Where is he? That light. It's too late. Oh, no. The Earth under one person's power. There's also a VOD to be playing Gunstar Heroes, by the way. Check that out. When you get a chance. In the past, two heroes fought against the terrible Destructor. These two noble heroes were known as the Gunstar Heroes. Yes. But nothing else is known about them. Which is true. They beat the Destructor in an epic battle on the moon. Which is known as Gold and Silver, by the way. The Destructor exploded, in, resulting in a Genesis. Sega Genesis, get it? A genesis of four new moons that orbited the Earth. As time passed, development occurred on the four moons. It was a prosperous era. Then a fifth moon appeared. A fifth moon? This moon served as an ominous omen. Oh boy. A huge military satellite created by the Empire. The Empire's back? It plans to resurrect the Destructor, the God of Ruin. It's obsession since the find of a relic, the Megalith. But the Empire's grab for power hasn't gone unnoticed. The Third Eye force on Earth has created a unit to stop it. This elite unit has been given the codename... Say it with me now. Gunstar Superheroes. And like I said, on YouTube we'll be playing red. But tonight we're going to be playing blue. Give me blue. Here we go. New data. I have not played blue yet. So, we're going in fresh with this. Alright, let's go into it. Earth. The Mah Maho Station? Ma Manho? No. 
Makano Station, I think. The, s the spelling is just very close, so it's hard to tell. It's the Skyport. This is yellow. Respond, HQ. Nothing's getting through. A spy must have infiltrated our system. Go investigate, Gunstar. The Empire's already in third eye. Man, what a pain. Alright, so blue's a little different than red. Blue's got laser. Laser and chase. And then, okay, so machine gun fireball. What I'm describing is basically the mechanics of what was in Gunstar Heroes. So let me break it down for you. In Gunstar Heroes, the first game, you had four weapon types. You had laser, chase, machine gun, and flamethrower. And you could combine two of those weapons to give you interesting combinations. My common combination I go to was laser and chase. But in this game, they did away with the combinations for the most part, and they isolated them into certain ones. And depending which character you pick, has different types. So for red, red actually has machine gun, machine gun fireball combo, and then laser chase. While blue has laser, laser chase, and uh, machine gun fireball. It's weird, because not all combinations are here. And then there's a supercharged weapon, which we will get when we fill up that bar. So, just to break down the mechanics of this game. Also, I can't throw people anymore. Which defeats the purpose of this game, because in the last game, I loved throwing people. It was, it was a fun mechanic. You can still physically attack. There's a sword. And you can do acrobatics for the most part, but you can't throw people anymore. And sadly, which doesn't make any sense at all, this game should have co-op. You, you're GBA, you had a link cable. Co-op was not apparently feasible for this version, so it's single player only, unfortunately. But anyways, let's get back into it. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Okay, just gotta get used to mechanics again. This big guy... I guess they have mini bosses in this game now too. It seems like. Well, let's get for these dudes. All right. I guess that's the new sandbag, this block right here. Come on, big dude. There we go. Because this guy will give me some health. There we go. Ow. Ow. I gotta remind myself, we are playing hard mode. I do expect myself to die here at some point. Just inevitable. Ow. Okay. There is something up here. Okay, interesting. There's stuff there. I missed it, but I think that was a supercharge grab. Ooh. There we go. I missed this in the YouTube playthrough, so I was just curious what that was about. Alright, interesting. General Gray, what are you doing here? I am General Gray. Hey, this guy can talk. Interesting. You're too late, Gunstar. I have the data. What do you hope to gain by this, Gray? Only to free the moons from the Earth's oppression. 
With this data, we'll gather the four treasured gems. Once we have them, we'll call forth the God of Ruin. What kind of utter nonsense is this? This is yellow. I need support. That's the latest Earth military technology. How? Don't you see? We also have support of support on Earth as well. Soon, you'll learn the truth. The Earth shall pay for its crimes on the moons. Abinos Mundus. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I think the phrasing is cool, but I, I don't know how to say it correctly. Get back here, Gray. Man, I failed. Yep, just physically attack everything. There we go. Again, I wish I could just throw the dudes. Also, the dudes look terrible in this game. I don't think there's phantoms anymore, either. Those big guys must be the replacements for them. Alright. Okay, whoa. Where'd the whole city go? The hell is that thing? Yeah, let's use our super. That's right, let go, yellow. I'll take that health. Oh, I made a pissed. Ow. Yep, physical attacks are still the dominant force. Good to know. Ow. Ow, damn, I might die. Ooh, barely lived. Well, like four health. Completed that guy. Oh my god, that face in the background. That's disturbing. Huh. Interesting. Hey, we cleared it. All right, let's spell my name. T O M. Save. It's impossible, but I can't hear any third eye communications. It's as if third eye never existed. Well, let's let's let the Earth Army deal with this. What blue? How can you call yourself a Gunstar? Gunstar. Isn't it just a code name? We're not heroes. What can be what can the three of us possibly do? Blue, you stop it, Red. I believe the Empire can't win under normal conditions. But if they can revive the God of Ruin, they'll win. Right, so let those who want to fight fight. But think about it, why the third eye was created? If the Earth Army fights, it'll be an all-out war. Many innocents will die, regardless of the outcome. We've got to try for their sake. Okay, Yellow. Whatever you- whatever. You're a Gunstar, so act like one. <sighs> I wish I could be as simple-minded as you. Damn! You really dislike this job so much, Blue? Oh boy, please don't make that face. I'll go, okay? Interesting. Alright, so... It seems like the gemstones are laid out... In almost a similar manner to the last game. They swapped orange and green, though. The original game was blue, green, orange, and red. So, we'll go in traditional Gunstar Heroes fashion. We'll start with blue. Apparently, the gems were symbols of native tribes. Through generations, they appeared on burial sites. It explains why there's one inside the pyramid. Hey, I did sign up for an archaeology lecture. You're right. Enemy aircraft are approaching. Get ready. Okay, let me get ready then. I'll take them out. Yeah, let's take them out. Alright, I, 
I gotta try to stabilize this screen. Because this spinning drives me nuts a little bit. I mean, again, it's impressive what they did with the Game Boy Advance in terms of graphic fidelity for pixelation. It's definitely impressive, but yeah, this is basically the Super Nintendo version of Gunstar Heroes, honestly. Out those guys. Oh boy. There we go. Got rid of them. Get out of here. Get out of here. So, not only am I dealing with mechs, I'm dealing with guys. I'm dealing with buggers, it looks like. And his mirrors are a lot more uh, airplanes. I know the airplanes were more associated with orange than in the original run with the other enemies. So it's interesting. But hey, no damage. Awesome. Alright, let's keep going. These houses have health, so I'm going to take advantage of destroying the houses, unfortunately. Alright. There we go. Got some. Ow. Got him. There we go. Ow. Ow. Come on. Eat it. Can I stop getting attacked? Come on. There we go. Got it. Bastards. Oh, I couldn't grab that heart. What the hell? Don't tell me the gravity kegs are just as shoddy a little bit like the original game. Bring it on! Oh, it's not this boss again. One thing I noticed is the supercharge for a laser chase is really just the fire chase combo. So that's interesting. A little more annoying than the original, it seems like. Come on. Seriously? I got killed by the stupid caterpillars? That's weird. Alright, so let's try that again, shall we? That's death number one. Save the... Coblets? Huh. Then uh, that's what they were called. Alright. Alright. 
See if I can max maximize our health here. Ow. Got rid of that guy. Seriously? Come on. Get off me. Alright, at least got rid of that guy. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Got rid of that guy. A little bit better health. Bring it on again. All right, let's defeat the weird ass boss. Seriously, that worm thing kills me pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. Alright, so I'm thinking fire attack on the boss and then physical attack on the stupid caterpillar. Maybe. I said maybe. I have no idea. Uh, death? Yep. Damn. Huh. All right, so maybe instead of laser chase, we'll try a fire attack on that thing. Hmm. All right, let's try again. We'll get through this. It's just a matter of time. Try again. All right, that thing kills capitals a lot quicker. There we go, big fireball. It's almost dead. There we go. There we go. Healed up. All right, let's get keep going. Now, time to play Flickies. This is the weirdest stage out of all of them. I do find this one a little weird. I'm missing one more flicky. Apparently. There it is. Come on, flicky.
Weird stage, honestly. But we take those. Alright. Now to go beat up, uh... What the hell's his name? I feel like I should know this boss's name and I'm blanking on it for some weird reason. No. Bravo Man. Yeah, Bravo Man's weird, weird. But I think if it plays like the original, Bravo Man's gonna be here. I mean, at least the difference is there's no jetpack guys, so that's that's nice. Come on! Man, Laser Chase is definitely a lot weaker than its original version. Alright. Alright, Bravo Man, let's go at it again. Although you changed a little bit. Do you fly like the old one? Let's not find out. Go away. There we go. Crumbled him to pieces. Alright. 84 health. I think we can manage. It's pink! On the bounty hunter known as pink. Yeah, I know who you are. Get me out of here. Come on! I don't understand why you get stuck underneath it if you can't escape. Let's skip through this again. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, continue. Alright. Here we go. So let's, let's not peer in the middle. We still peer in the middle anyways. Come on! Uh-huh. I'm sure you have. Let me get the hell out of here. Why the hell can I not get out of the pink? I got out of it in red's playthrough. Why can't I get out of it in blue's playthrough? Come on. Yes, yes, you've been waiting for me. Come on. Get me out. Get me out. Get me. Thank you. There we go. Now we're going to kick your ass. The physical manner. Again. Physical. Physical rules all. I just wish, like I said, we should be able to still toss people. We can't do that for some weird reason. Yep, here was my name. Let's see. Well, Lady Lux on your side. We have to pull out. Kane, Co Kotaro, let's go. Until next time. Ha ha ha! They left something behind. What is it? It's a data disc. The Shadow Light Journal. What? I wonder what's in here. Shadow Light Journal number one. I didn't see this at Red's playthrough. Notes from Dr. Shadow, Light, Earth Scientist Dev. Thanks to the Gun Stars, the God of Ruin was defeated. Before new moons were born, what mysteries do they hold? Why didn't the matter form rings instead of moons? Good point. How did these moons gain an atmosphere and gravity? I must examine all the data I can obtain. Ah, clue. 
the relationship between the Earth and moons. The orbit between the moons seems unnatural. There should be a fifth object. A lost planet? <laughs> Maybe. This was where the God of Ruin impacted our moon. After surveying this area, I found an object. I found the Megalith, a gem with intelligence. That's what that is. Interesting. Okay. So that's what the Megalith's all about. Alright, let's resume in Gunstar Heroes fashion. Let's go fight green. We believe the treasure gem is inside the Force Mine. The mine shaft is 200 kilome kilometers in length, so don't get lost. Also, Force, a machine life form, was buried here? I'm surprised you have so much data on the mines. I've prepared a Force Mecha for you. It'll change position when you press the jump button. The Empire already controls the mine, but there's more. They dug up Seven Force, a powerful relic. Be careful. Hmm. <laughs> Always easier said than done. Ain't that the facts. Oh hey, at least the hearts stay in place. The original mine shaft, they would just go to the left left of the screen. You were SOL. I guess that's his name is Smash, apparently. He's not M, uh, M. Bison, great value anymore. He's now the original anime M. Bison. I don't know. Oh, bombs. See, this is why I miss throwing. I can't throw these bombs. That's lame. There we go. I do like the middle option. Ow. Come on, get out of here. There we go. More of these dudes. Ow. There we go. There he is, Smash, Smash guy himself. Yeah, just eat that. Oh, he doesn't pop out of the train. All right, so we got Seven Force and Green to deal with. Speaking of which, I am Green. Seven Force. Oh shit, he's not his. That's new. Oh, it's it, this replaced the gun. I guess gun was too much. Ow. All right. Oh, we're dealing with the snake thing. Uh, okay, I should have just stayed where I was. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? We gotta go fight green now. How many times have I died now? Five, six times? I'll have a total on this, total after the stream's over. Alright, let's go fight green. All right, Seven Force. Ow. Okay, so you are starting with that. That's weird. I'm so used to the, the anime mech. I don't know how much... There we go. 
All right, so in theory, he should still be the snake guy again. No, it's the fucking Beyblade. Okay. Alright, Beyblade's almost dead. Although Beyblade was definitely a lot different. Alright, now we got the snake. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Green's a little harder than I thought. We'll get some down soon enough. I'm determined to beat the shit out of Green. Alright, so we know what to expect. It should be the f the bow and arrow instead of the gun. Oh no, it's not. Now it's the mech guy. Ow. This mech plays a lot different too. Damn. Alright. Let's try something other than laser chase. I gotta do something that brings a little more damage to the plate. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Let's try that again. That didn't work. Alright. You are green. Seven force. Oh, now you're crab. Damn. Come on, green. Go down. Ugh. I didn't realize this form was always going to be random at the start of this. this guy out. Come on, go down, green. I don't know how to dodge those fists. Ugh. All right. Nope, don't go too far. This is getting tedious, guys. Let's see what I can try. I'm trying everything.
We've gone as far as third third as sub forms. dodge that one that's uh, the bird form I haven't seen that one yet hmm come on green go down oh you're the The lion thing, I think. All right, at least I got one. Got through one form. Oh, come on. Damn it. That was a good start, at least. I got one of the bosses. Uh, I just need... I need a good combo. That's what I need to find, is the right combination. Once I have the right boss combination, I should be able to get by this. I am green. Shiver force. Damn it, green. Green, go down. Well, who's keeping track of my deaths? Let me know in the comments. And or on the stream chat. This is hard mode. So, it's going to take me a bit to figure out who, how and what. Dodge that. Come on. Ugh. Probably the worst probably the worst play for, for hard mode. <laughs> Come on, crab, go down. Damn. How? How? How do you perfect that timing? Because that fireball takes forever to dissipate. That's the problem. can't physically fight my way out of this. I gotta fire my way out of this somehow. Yes, you're green. I understand that. I'm now green with envy at this rate. I 
Again, his tacks linger, so how the hell do you beat that? Gotta be way. Alright, lucked out on that one. How do you stop all that? Okay. So laser will do damage for sure. I just gotta figure out how to take out the flying bird thing if I get to that. Alright. So I'm going to stick with laser instead of laser chase. Ow. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, actually. Uh, I was going to say, game, what's, what's going on? Alright, there is a way to beat this guy. Alright, I just gotta switch from laser chase to laser. Laser might be my benefactor this rate. You are green. Green with envy. Damn it, why? Come on. I don't like the fact that when you start the fight, it transforms into bow and arrow, right? I'm fine with transforming bow and arrow, but it goes left and it goes to the right. It's like, pick your side and stick to it when you transform. All right, there we go. Yep. Damn it. Come on. Come on, green. Come on, seven force. Go the hell down. Ugh. Uh-huh, you are green! <laughs> Since you transformed into that damn thing. Come on, go. Go down. Again. What am I just supposed to eat the tag that comes at me? Because I can't go in the middle when that thing's there. I mean, I guess I could move left before the incoming attack, but uh, it's annoying. You're a dirt bag. Yeah, see? I'm 
not quick at it. I'm alive. Yeah, after that, I don't know. I don't know, I guess maybe go in the middle for him? It's the only thing I can think of. So when it comes to that bird thing, I probably need to be in the middle. Alright. Oh, I guess you can do some sword attack. Either way. Alright, got rid of that guy. Alright, this is doable. Again, that's just cheap. Ah, it's cheap. Like, I shouldn't be going into the boss when the screen changes. Seven force. Now deal with a snake. I'm starting to learn that the I can move with the D-pad when it comes to position, I think. See in the original gunstar here is you couldn't change your position in the mine. You had to either use A to go up and down. There was no directional changing. So that's still throwing me off. Yeah, see, that I'm... Come on, why? That's just a dick move. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, okay, so I have to go back and forth. So when it shoots fire, that's down the middle. When it shoots its pin mi missile things, I gotta go be in the middle. Okay. All right. Starting to understand the boss patterns. Which form are you? I don't know why I changed attacks. Yeah. See, I gotta start using D-pad when it comes to the, that, the walls. Because the walls, I can go up and down. Using the D-pad. Mm. Green, you're a pain in the ass.
Damn it. I'll get this combination soon enough. You are green. No, stop that. What are you doing? Come on. Damn it. I prefer the original bird. The bird was much more interesting in the original game. Because it could just do like these weird fixture poses. And it's not doing that. Sapars, we have to fight all the varieties. Hard mode has us fighting all seven of them. Ow. Got it. Damn it. Because it was close to being a third one. That was really close. Ugh, come on, game. Give me a give me a combination I can fight. You are dumb. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Come on, fast forward. Boop, boop, boop. Doop, doop, doop. Yep. Uh huh. Got through that one. Two bosses down. I don't know why I ran into it. I should just stay to the left. Ugh, I almost had a third boss down. Come on. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. It's just a slow grind. Come on, green, transform. Got it. 
This is what I was talking about. I'm trying to figure out its patterns. What the hell you That is so sick. What the f This is insane. I'm barely probably doing any damage to him, but holy shit. Yeah, I'm barely doing shit to him right now. But I got the pattern down. So that's something. Ah, damn. Okay. Alright. So he's something I gotta figure out. Because laser chase is not good at it, but it's the only one that I can think of you, you can use it against that. I don't know. Interesting. You are green. Thought so. Gotta get the patter down. Come on, go down, green. What's your next form? This one? Alright, we're on the fourth boss. Ow. This one, I don't have its pattern down yet. Damn. Damn. That's as far as we've gotten, but I don't have that pattern down yet for the snake we guy. Hmm. Alright. We're, we're getting better, guys. I know I've been saying that probably a good 30, 40 minutes, but we are. Two bosses down. Why did I jump? It's doing fine. Ugh. Didn't have to jump into the damn thing.
Okay, got rid of that one. Oh, what the fuck? Again, it doesn't give me enough time to move over. Come on. Oh, damn. The problem was is I hit A and he kept moving to the other side. I've tried to use the D-pad to do movement. Ugh. Come on. Sorry if I get quiet, I'm concentrating. That is such a dick move! You gotta be kidding me. The screen killing is annoying. Make up your mind, Green. What are you doing? Damn it. Okay, what are you? Okay, you're that.
Ah, it should stay where it was. Damn it. Because that's really the only way I'm going to be able to attack that form is to having the super. I hate relying on the super, but that's the only way I can really take it down. That's not long enough to do anything. Seven derp. Which way are you going, Green? Dick, move! Ah! I never have enough time for the snake form. Figure out its pattern. I know this is not. I know I'm not making much progress. I understand. If this is a tedious thing to watch, I apologize. I really don't play hard mode on Gunstar Heroes to begin with, but I wanted to challenge myself tonight. So, if it's boring, I'm sorry. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm also sorry. This is going to take a long time. I will definitely have a timestamp to skip ahead of how long this is going to be. Oy vey. Barely alive. Again! That is such a terrible way to kill you. It shouldn't be screen lock like that. Damn it! Trying everything I can to stay alive. You trying. Just trying to deep hand maneuver this bullshit. <sighs> you are green! Damn it. 
So he's got the flinging boomerang of death with his fists flying around. It's pain he has to try to dodge all that. God damn, I barely had enough time to figure that out. What the hell? Damn it. All right, so I figured a snake pattern. I know the bird pattern, and I know the, the disc pattern. So I think I have a pattern for all the bosses figured out. It's just about to get the right combination now. God damn. Ugh. To go right from his bipedal form to the crab form is annoying. Like, I have those two separate. You are green. I stuck ahead. Still barely have enough time to dodge it. Fuck. Derps. Oh, come on. Come on. I hate fighting his... I hate fighting the basic form now. Out of all the forms, why the basic one's gotta be a pain in the ass? I can deal with crab. I can deal with the bone arrow. I can deal with his hedgehog. I can deal with his animal form. But this one... Just go down.
We still can't get it right. The timing. I still can't get that hands down. <coughs> Got the bird one down, but I can't get the stupid snake one down. I am derp. At least know how to take out the crab one quickly. All right, crabs dealt with. Damn it. Okay. Bird. Damn it. Didn't move quick enough, but I gotta hit the bird with the supercharge. I'm getting at least four out of the seven bosses done. So I'm at least getting halfway through them. It's almost like I play it's almost like I, like I have to play perfect on this guy. Wow! Beat the bird!
Damn it! Son of a bitch! That was the first I got. That at least had me four or five bosses. God damn it! Son of a bitch! You are a piece of shit, you know that? Get out of here, crab form. Come on! I'm in the middle of the fucking screen. He's going up top. Why does that hit me? You're a dumbass. Oh, I hate your bow. Bone crab is dealt with. Oh. All right. Most of, most concentrated I've been in so far.
Which one going? Shit. Damn it. I think all I had left was this bipedal and the snake. So that was five bosses I beat. I'm getting there. Fuck me, I'm getting there. Oh boy. You're a piece of work, you know that? No, fuck your bow! hit me damn it Got the bird's number at least. Fuck. All right, come on, come on. This boss is doable, I just Keep getting my ass kicked. You're a piece of work. Alright, my pal's dead at least. I almost got through the bipedal and the crab. If I got through those two and I got through the snake, that would have been the best outcome. If I get those three out of my way, the other four are doable. Uh, you're. You're a f dollar symbol.
Damn it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You are something. Yeah, start that over. I messed with the whole movement pattern. Oh, I guess that works too. I didn't know it could stay in the rings. Either way. Damn it. Screw me up because I hate the fact that like I said The movement's stupid if you're a former boss stay on one side I hate the fact it goes left and then right when it does the stupid bow and arrow version Gotta be opening with that that fire shot that comes in.
All right, so bone arrow's done. We're dealing with bird. I don't know how the hell I got hit. So bird and bone air are dealt with. Crabs next. Great. Damn it. Hmm. I say we'll give it, I don't know, maybe five, five, ten more tries. Then we'll switch a game because this is getting tedious. I hate you. Oh, come on. How did that thing not die? All right, so bipedal, now we're on bird.
Ooh. Try a different strategy. Because holding R keeps me in place. It's like a fixed fire rate. So I tried that. Kind of paid off. Damn it. I didn't move quick enough. Just talking. My fingers are starting to get tired. So I'll give it till we're at two and a half hours. I'm about to dodge that. I don't know why I didn't dodge it. That's why I was attacking weird. There we go. Second boss, and we're still at 51. We we're doing well. Damn it. Because I said, I got bipedal, and I got bird done and then we would have had no we got bow and pet we got bow and arrow bird done and then we were on crab which was yeah all right i'm seven force i'm seven derps in one Did a different attack pattern all together. Oh boy. Master's been starting with bow and arrow more so lately. What are we doing? Alright, so bow and arrow, then bird. I mean, it could be bipedal next, or crab. Which seems to be the pattern. I have one health left, by the way.
This is not gonna be a long run. Nope. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, I wonder if I could attack. Hmm. I wonder. You're a piece of shit, you know that? So dog and bow and arrow are done. So that's good. Crab's done. So we got Bono, the dog, and crab done. We're doing hedgehog now. Okay, so those four are done. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, because that was the fifth run right there. Five bosses right there. Because all I would have left would have been the bird and the snake. Seven, fucker. Crab's done. Doing bird next. tried that. I hate the fact that laser chase doesn't work the way it used to. enough response time, really. Alright, we got 12 more minutes before I have to give this up. You 
you are, bastard. Alright, so bipedal's done. We're working on dog. Or jaguar, or whatever you want to call it. Now we gotta deal with crab. Crab's dealt with. Alright, so the two painty ass antagonists are done. We're on boss four, essentially. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> You're something. Alright, so bipedal to hedgehog. What's next? Crab. So bipedal, crab, and hedgehog are gone. Well, on the bird. Damn it. As soon as I move, like, I'm holding R, but it doesn't let me... Ah. Uh, I should stop doing that and just take the long way around. Seriously, what the f the hell? So bipedal to bone arrow. 
And we went right to Snake. Come on. Pain in my goddamn ass. That's dealt with. So bipedal to bird. Alright, so bird's done, dog's done, great, it's this guy. Hedgehog. Alright, so we dealt with dog, bird, bipedal, and now we're dealing with hedgehog. Still got bow and arrow, snake, and crab. Alright, just gotta keep that in mind. All right, should be crab. And it's snake. Come on. There we go. Should just be snake now. We're almost there. One more boss. Damn it. That's the only boss I have no pattern on. I was hoping to have decent health, but the fucking bow and arrow took out some of my health. Fuck, I was so close. That was our best run so far, too. Alright, so we gotta deal with the dog again. Or Jaguar, or whatever. Hedgehog. So Jaguar, Hedgehog. We're dealing with Snake. Fuck it. Die, Snake.
Damn it. All right, snakes dealt with. Boom. Damn it! I gotta have enough health for one of these fucking bosses. Oh, I'm doing so well there. I almost have it, too, which is sad. I almost have it. Oh, fuck you, Bowman. Come on! I hate this! I'd rather just start over because the bow guy takes my health. Come on, Green, you fucking piece of shit. So bone arrow to Jaguar. The hedgehog. All right, so we dealt with bow and arrow, Jaguar, hedgehog. game fucking work with me you are green Damn it. I don't know how to stop those laser attacks. That's the problem. Are you? I thought you were orange.
He's almost dead. There's no point. There we go. Oh, come on! That is such garbage! It's always the snake boss that takes me out like that, if not the bow and arrow guy. Come on! Damn it. Again, it's such bullshit. Oh my god. <sighs> I now have an imprint in my thumb. Again, that is such garbage. Why would you spawn me on a wall with the fucking boss is gonna kill me like that? Doesn't make any sense. Come on. Alright, bow and arrow's done, now we're on Hedgehog.
Bird, all right, good. What are we doing? Crab? No, motherfucker. Come on. Never have enough health when it comes to the fucking snake. Seahorse thing, whatever you want to call it. Hey, you bow and arrow guy. Clipped. Damn it. Piece of shit, motherfucker. Come on. Sweet garbage. It's not like I can't beat any of these, well, other than the snake one. I can definitely beat these bosses. It's just a matter of getting the right combination. God damn. Yeah, that was, that was the bow and arrow, so... Because I got damaged too easily like that. Your heart trash. Oh, come on. Should not have gotten hit. So bow and arrow, crab, and now I'm dealing with the bird.
was almost dealt with. I decided to take the long route this time around. There we go. stage, but I want to get green done. <sighs> yes, I'm where I could switch stages this entire time. That was bow and arrow. Wasn't reacting. Jaguar to crab to bow and arrow. Dealing with crab right away. Good. Now we're doing Hedgehog. So grab the Hedgehog. Those two are done. I don't know why it went up there. Damn it. Almost had it. Almost had it. Because I got through the painty ass ones, too. It's just bone arrow is what throws me the fuck off. Come on. Damn it. Go from crab to bipedals. Pain in the ass too. Oh fuck my back.
Damn it, snake guy. Snake guy is dealt with, finally. Now who I want to deal with. Fuck me. Damn it. It's, being, it's fighting those two back to back, and then if I even have the snake eye afterwards. Oh, God. What sucks is the health speed is just 69. If I had better health. I know. I am fucker. Alright, so bow and arrow to hedgehog. I don't know why I did that. So we're doing bipedal, not uh, bipedal, crab and jaguar. To snake, okay, good. Still not perfect at it. Got him, though. Bird, all right, good. So that's all the air vehicles.
All right. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> Which sucks, because I got through all the air vehicles, too. Or the vertical vehicles. Seriously, how the fuck do you stop that? Well, that was interesting. Damn it. Alright. Damn it! Son of a bitch! Which is weird, there's like no iframes when it comes to that that fire shot. I get iframes elsewhere, but except for the bipedal fucker. Come on. Come on, game, you owe me this time. Like, I need this win now.
focusing. Oh, come on! What garbage is that? No, that's bullshit. That is such bullshit. Still not perfect at it. Come on! What the hell? Damn it. Yeah. We have a few more tries and I'm gonna give up at this rate.
Garbage. Garbage. Again, such garbage. I lost 40 health because I didn't know which orientation the way the boss was going to move. Come on. It's just annoying RNG at that point. So bipedal the hedgehog. Oh, I got lucky right there. Damn it. I can't move quick enough for that fucking space. I think all I had left was bow and arrow, I think, after Snake Guy.
Again, what the fuck with the placement? Come on! So Jaguar bipedal, now Hedgehog. Bird, okay. So all I have left is snake, bow and arrow, and crab. Snake, good. Damn it. All right, Snake's dead. Damn it. Fuck! He was the only one left! Fuck! You piece of shit game, that was the only boss left! Oh my god. Hmm. God damn it. 
Come on. All right, I'm in the vertical stream, or vertical uh, recording. Yeah, just help the computer out. God damn it. All right. Come on, seven fuck. That was a little bit different. But I got the bipedal and the crab guy done. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. If I had more health, I would have been fine. All right, so I got rid of bipedal, crab, and snake. All I got left is hedgehog, bird, and hold on. Bird, bow and arrow, and the jaguar. That's what should be left.
should just be bow and arrow after this. I gotta perfect this one. Somehow. Should've just kept going forward. Fuck me. Should've just kept going forward. All I had was bone out. Fuck me. Fuck. Eat my dick, you fucking game. Come on, you piece of shit. Cock sucking motherfucker. Damn it. I gotta give up at some point here. That was unexpected. I'm down to one health? What the fuck? What the hell was that? I was doing just fine. What the f Come on. So jaguar to bird.
Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. Leading a lot more crab lately. All right, so grab and bipedal, I'm gonna have done at least. With okay, health. fine with that. Oh, come on. Because it switched to Jaguar, I died instantly because of that bullshit. Because I don't know when the... Like, come on, I, I can't predict its fucking form. And it takes me out as soon as I fucking stand there. Come on. I've gone three bosses without damage. That's a good sign. This may be my best run so far. Finally.
Oh, come on! You gotta be shitting me. The last swarm was crab. Oh, my God. Give me a break, game. Why do you place me in a spot where you just insta-kill me like that? What bothers me it was my best one where I had three bosses that didn't damage me at all. Damn it. Damn it. I'm dead. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. A supercharge, I would have taken out Snake Guy easy. But then I would have had supercharge for bipedal, but I would have had health. So either way. Damn it. Oh, where's my frames? Come on. Come on, game. I 
guess my stream's tapping out. Come on, stream. Damn it. Ugh. All right. I gotta stop. This game's gonna be the rough of me of this stream. Ugh. All right. I try my best, guys. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever gone two hours plus on one boss. Well, this is what I get from playing hard mode, like I said. Normally, if I'm playing Gunster Heroes, I usually play on normal mode. But with it being a different game that I've never played before, I wanted to challenge myself. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass stream to edit too down the road. Oh. Oh, all right. Huh. Well, that and I keep losing frames and my stream keeps fluctuating, so I think I'm going to call it here tonight anyways. Um, I'll have to update that uh, 7 force decimation basically uh let's see here uh, hello pocket capture yeah let's get rid of that uh seven force Fatigued. There we go. All right. I'm ready with a chat stream kind of thing. So we're switched to just chatting. Because I'm going to ch you know, chat super long with my frame drops and all that other fun stuff going on. All right, so... What did we learn? Uh, this is a hard game to play on when you're playing on hard. Now, I do have some updates. I do have wireless headphones. Sony, so just like these. But for whatever reason, they weren't working when playing with analog for some reason. I don't know why. So, these I'll probably use when I go back to playing PC games. Hopefully, they'll work. But... Yeah, so, this is a fun but rough game. Like I said, I'll have a better playthrough on my YouTube page going through red. We'll try to tackle blue again in the next stream as much as I can. But, otherwise, some content coming out tomorrow for YouTube for Gunstar Superheroes. The stream will have to get edited down. I'll have a VOD for it on YouTube, but it's going to be edited because... The, this long playthrough was just enough that I'm like, okay, how many times did I die to blue? And how close did I get in completing against blue? So probably what I'll do is I'll just chop up to the parts of that I was doing the best as close as I could. So, um, but this fine won't be edited here. 
I'll just have a highlight version of it, and you could watch the long playthrough of me suffering. So, I hope you enjoyed my suffering. This was fun. Well, also a bit stressed, but... Yeah, so, down the pipeline, this game, Inscription, that's another game I want to play. May play some other games. Um, I do want to get into money games. I know I said in the past that I've been slacking on it, but you know, I had to get through my ear pain. I had to get better. That was the problem. Last Saturday, you saw me suffering a little bit. Um, having ear pain, trying to play games was not, not fun. It's not easy. So, but I'm going to end the stream here. Check me out on YouTube. I believe Matt Toy SR is live right now. I mean, I could raid myself to him, but it's just me at the moment, as far as I know, so. But. I'll see you guys next Saturday, where we go through this again. Hopefully not as long and not as tedious.